The saga between the family of the late Sentobi and his bosom friend Zik Zulu Okafo is far from over. The family of the deceased actor has released photos to untimely trash claims that the actor's colleagues were never invited to any of his children's education or any other family function. Picture evidence has emerged to prove actor sent obese colleagues were in attendance during his child's dedication ceremony in 2008. These photos contradict claims made by his friend and filmmaker, Zik Zulu Okafo, who alleged that the deceased actor never invited his colleagues or even his close friends who walked through the crucible to the crest of his career to any of his three children's dedication. In a write-up released by his alleged friend, Zik, it states, the saint would be blessed with three beautiful children, but not on one occasion where his friends in Nollywood invited for christening or birthday. Recall, this was not the only allegation leveled against the saint to be's immediate family, an even stronger allegation was laid on his wife for being the cause of his downfall and the untimely death of Saint Obi. Zik Zulu further alleged his deceased friend was also a victim of domestic violence, oppression, and manipulation. In his words, he just wanted to live a cool, quiet, and fulfilled life. But has he lived his cool and fulfilled life he envisioned? I have my doubts. I tell Sen's story here with painful tears in my eyes because he was a star, a superstar, whose life turned out a gleam of irony. Yet, it was this stardom that fetched him his much professed financially strong and powerful wife. And their wedding, the solemn ritual of love, would drastically alter the course of his life and tragically yank him off the creative community that threw him up for the wife to capture and indeed conquer. Their marriage was at best a dramatization of love. It was quick. He barely told us that he found a wife. Then the marriage happened. None of us who were his closest pals, who walked with him through the crucible to the crest of his career in Nollywood, none of us was invited. This was also a part of the statement released by Zeke. He even went further to describe in detail the supposed house of horror the deceased actor stayed in for years. And though secretive in his ways, he knew it was time to open up, and he did. I do not know why my wife's siblings see me as a gold digger. They confront me, harass, and fight me in my own matrimony and my wife did nothing to stop them. I work hard, I earn my money. I have never depended on my wife. He lamented, eyes blurred with tears. You could tell he was in deep pain. By the next visit, the scent returned with a deep cut from a knife on his left eye. His wife's brothers, he said, scaled the wall fence of their house to attack him. They were captured by a hidden closed circuit television, CCTV, installed for the surveillance and security. He revealed he reported them at the police station and subsequently acquired a gun to defend himself. The family of the late talented actor was obviously not pleased with the release statement and has sought to debunk the allegation. Clearing their name. In a signed statement released to counter the allegations, it quotes Our attention has been drawn to the publication by one Mr. Zik Zulu Okafor concerning the death of our son, Mr. Obina Nwafo, popularly known as Saint Obi. And the accompanying negative commentary in social and other media portraying his widow in an unfair and most defamatory manner. This is in no way shape or form an accurate portrayal of the Linda that we know and relate with. The Umwafa family also views the said article by Mr. Okafo as sad and most unfortunate. It was neither written in consultation with any member of the family nor authored with any consent or authority. We totally disassociate ourselves from it. The views and allegations contained therein are entirely the opinion of the writer. 
they are false, malicious, and insensitive to the wife, children, and entire family he left behind. It was gathered that Obi and his wealthy wife, Linda, got married in 2006 and had their first child in November 2007. They held the child's dedication in 2008 and some of his colleagues were in attendance, proven by the picture evidence. The photo's evidence, which was sent to a popular blog by a family source, shows veteran actors such as Shagan Arenzi, Kate Henshaw, and Stephanie Okereke were in attendance at the ceremony, which held at Obi's apartment before the move to Linda's house in Lekki. Thanks for watching. Do well to like, subscribe, and comment to keep enjoying interesting content.